Hello and welcome to Rarely Rad episode 23 and Isabel's last episode she's recording in Charlotte. Yeah, I'm already out of my apartment. Am I staying on my friends right now? I mean, how's moving been? I will never want to move again. I have always been like, you know, I've always been like, yeah, I don't know. Okay, I'll eventually buy a house. I was like, I'm happy renting because if my light bulb goes out. No, the reason I would buy a house is so I never have to fucking move again. It is so bad. (laughs) No, I've always joked what they do in hell is move because it's it's the worst thing ever. You finally think you're close to done. You're not. Yeah. And you're like, oh, I need six more boxes. You're like, but I'll buy 10 just in case. No, you needed 15. It's like everything that can go wrong does go wrong during moving. My mom was like, well, why didn't you start packing earlier? I was like, mom, I was packing before 4th of July. When you were there, I had already, there were, I had a lot of boxes and a lot of Goodwill bags. Yeah. And she's like, there's always just more. There's more. I don't even know how much in the end. I want to say probably close to like $10,000 worth of stuff Goodwill has now received, <laughs> plus stuff that we sold. <laughs> You're welcome, Goodwill. Yeah, exactly. Like I well, have, I should have like my own little like plaque in there as like their number one donator. <laughs> if you guys want any of our old stuff, just stop by the local Goodwill. <laughs> like literally. <laughs> did you guys end up selling most of your furniture? We did sell. So we sold dining room, desk, bar cart, and dining room chairs. Okay. For no, absolutely no surprise to anybody, none of Austin's stuff. I've sold because it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> it's all just boy stuff it's such boy stuff and then the movers are like hyping him up too they're like you're totally because sh-. we were like well we'll just like leave it it's just going to be another thing in the storage unit and they're like no you can't just get rid of something like that you can make money off of it and i was like okay but like let's say somebody hits austin up on thursday after we left they're like hey i'm interested are you going to buy a flight down from new york to charlotte to sell it like what is the logic here when we won't even make as much money selling it as the flight would be like seriously i guess <laughs> technically i could give like the key to my sister and something but then now they'd have to like build it and that sounds even worse so i don't know it's in the storage unit now because the friggin movers were like hyping him up <laughs> damn it austin does not need this i know i was like great but and now I'm like, this is the other thing with moving is that I was like, oh, like, I don't need to take Monday off. I 100% needed to take Monday off. Like tomorrow? Mon- yeah. I leave on Tuesday. I just got back. I've been gone since like noonish. in my apartment, granted, we got food and like, but that's like what one hour, but like having to run errands and stuff. And then I was like, oh, I don't have that much to do. And then just now I'm thinking about it. I haven't even packed my suitcases because I've just like, I have packed half of it. And then I was like, I just want to get out of here. So I just threw a bunch of clothes in and like now. I have to obviously repack and we've brought more th- things to Meg's house like Aria's dog stuff I have to pack that in my suitcase and I'm like I have to pack my entire suitcase which alone is kind of be like a four-hour process because packing suitcases somehow takes forever too well packing in general takes forever and then <laughs> packing so for like life moving <laughs> moving <laughs> that's another that's another level of freaking packing yeah I mean, I also have to work tomorrow. But then I was like, oh, one of my calls is getting canceled because I'm seeing them on Wednesday. Nope, my coworker's out. So I'm having to cover her calls, of course. I also have to go back to the apartment to roll up the mattress. And I didn't realize we left this like mirror thing, which I just want to leave there. Austin doesn't. I don't know. Maybe I'll just- Why, why can't Austin go do all this? I don't find- Well, we're doing it together. Like it's not just me. But then I also, I'm meeting my friend at Skip Town to let Aria like run around before she has to go and say bye to her dog friends. You know? Yeah. I have to go see my parents. <laughs> see my parents. <laughs> it just feels like a lot. Uh, you'll get it done, though. And then what time is the flight on Tuesday? 8.54. Oh, we love a morning flight. <laughs> we love a morning flight. I was like, what if I do the 7.30? I was like, no, because I'm further away. I'll do the 8.54. Has there been any updates to it because of the big outage on Friday? Yeah, it did change. Or It is now 8.54 because it was like 9.30 before. I was about to say, like, I've been seeing still on social media everywhere that everyone is still having issues that so you know it's crazy my friend the girl i'm staying with her boyfriend is a pilot and he's currently going through so he just got hired by american airlines so he worked for like a subsidiary subsidiary whatever of them before yeah Yeah. (laughs) and now like american airlines hired him and so i didn't know this but anytime you change airplanes you have to go through like a whole five week course like somebody that flies like to new york it isn't i don't know i guess i just thought that if you knew how to fly a plane you could fly them all like i didn't <laughs> think they were different <laughs> i thought it was like a car 
<laughs> I have a friend that just got back from, they did 25 days over in Europe and her boyfriend is a pilot, I think for like JetBlue. On the way there, her boyfriend, it was for her 31st birthday and her boyfriend really wanted to splurge for it and fly like, I don't even know what the airline is, but it's the airline that has like a three story airplane and like the bottom story is like normal people. And then like the middle story is a bar. Is it um, Emirates? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So they flew that and she was showing photos and stuff and she gets really, really bad flight anxiety, which is funny dating pilot, but she's like, usually she's still fine flying, but his way of calming her down was like, babe, don't you worry. This, this is going to be easy. This fights a million pounds. And she was like, uh, a million pounds. Do you understand gravity? How that works? <laughs> Throw a million pounds in the air and it is falling. She was like, this does not make me feel any better. And he's like, no, yeah. no. And she's like, no, this actually just heightened my anxiety of flying on this plane. Well, so, okay. So this was like what I was saying with that flights getting delayed. So he like, wasn't going to come in this weekend and just managed to hop on a flight this, this weekend, which I'm like, nobody else is able to get on a flight. <laughs> That's what I've been confused about too, because so I know some Southwest had no issues. I saw that on social media. I guess they use not Microsoft because I guess Microsoft is what crashed. Yeah. So imagine, had- dude, imagine being the guy that fucked up the update and the whole world shut down. <laughs> I know. I saw one meme on, I think it was Instagram and it was like a guy's selfie because it's like called CrowdStrike, I think. And yeah. it's like a selfie with like CrowdStrike. And he's like, first day on the job. Hope I do this update well. <laughs> And it, it was definitely like a joke, I would assume at least. I, it didn't affect me or really my job at all, but I kept seeing things about it. Yeah, it was affecting the girl I'm staying with her. It affected her job. Yeah, but yeah, so Southwest, it did not affect at all. But one of our friends, he flew out of Atlanta on Friday to Texas, and he flies Delta pretty much only. And he had no cancellations, no delay, nothing. And I'm like, literally no one else has managed to do this. How did you? I don't know if he's had issues trying to come back or not. Yeah. I was like, that is very, very, very lucky. Well, this guy, he literally didn't even have a ticket. And pilots, they only get to hop on a plane if there's an extra seat. So I guess there weren't people flying from Dallas to Charlotte. I'm because- assuming that some so many things were fucked up that people are now missing their flights. Oh, actually, my friend Grant, um, I was talking, I saw him yesterday. We did like a little goodbye kind of thing with a bunch of my friends. But his dad is going on a cruise and cruises are non-refundable. They're flying out of Fort Lauderdale or not flying. He's flying to Fort Lauderdale and yeah, and his flight got canceled. And he was like, "What?" (laughs) So what's he he doing? I I think I think they booked one. They like another one popped up like twelve hours later. So he's like just making it. Like I think he's getting there like an hour or two before. I know. Whatever cruise it's related Burnett's family once did a like family cruise somewhere and it was stopping at a few different places I think it was like a week long or 10 day long cruise so like it was a long cruise and their first flight to like leave got delayed so they ended up having to fly to the first destination of the cruise and getting on the cruise there that's wild I was like I, I don't know I'd have way too much much stress but you know we're the Venmo friends we're just showing up we'd be like la 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 we yeah, wouldn't even know that we were supposed to get on the flight or on the boat like two days prior because when we try to book things we book the wrong flights and we got separated from the group but in a good way we made it into it made it work yeah the yeah. fancy lounge and got free olives <laughs> and those little twirl thingies a bunch of wine too it was like woodbridge wine but I'm like whatever this outage only was in the u.s though right no it's the whole world damn mm-hmm that's crazy. I know. I wish I had a normal job that it affected. I do have a normal job and it didn't affect me. <laughs> like, can we change to Microsoft? <laughs> we use Microsoft. I use Teams. That's so weird. That's why I don't know. Like Teams was working. Interesting. So I don't know like what, how it all works. I don't know. Did y'all have a good going away party yesterday? Yeah. Well, we you know how we are. We're like, we literally sent out a text like, uh, just from like noon to three. And I mean, we, went, <laughs> we went from noon till 3 a.m. <laughs> Typical, typical. <laughs> yeah. And I usually like don't stay up past midnight. And I was like going, going strong and I didn't eat. Yeah. So, that happens to the best of us. Yeah. I was like, well, that's showbiz, baby. <laughs> 
<laughs> but you finally got your 40 McDonald's nugs. I did. <laughs> but Phil, yeah, I don't, I was like, we we're at the last bar near Meg's house. She lives not in the city. Yeah, she's a burb kind of gal. We we're at this bar. I guess she's a regular. Night. It's like 2.15. They're like, okay, the bar is closed. And we're like, okay. And like, we're obviously drunk at this point. And then at like 2.30, they're like, you guys really need to leave now. Like, <laughs> And I was like, wait, let me order my McDonald's. They're there when I get it. <laughs> Honestly, thank God you ordered it to the right address. Yeah, I had Meg put it in because <laughs> I have done that before. <laughs> I have to, and that would have been so sad. Your 40 nugs just on the other side of Charlotte. Dude, the person who lived in my apartment complex before, for the longest time, he just f would keep forgetting his to change his DoorDash address. So he'd order food. To, and I was like, well, I'm not going to throw it away. <laughs> I just I don't know. How do you do that multiple times? I don't know. It was like kava too. Like it was like good food. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, speaking of Kaba, last weekend we were out at the bar on Sunday because of all the soccer game stuff. And one of our friends that was there, she was like, I need to leave. I need to go grocery shopping. And I was like trying to convince her to stay. And I was like, no, like, don't do that. And then one of the guys was like, you still grocery shop? She was like, yeah. Well, he made a great point. He was like, honestly, I don't like cooking. He's like, it's cheaper for me to just get like Chipotle and Kava and stuff. Yeah. And I was like, you're so right. You are completely accurate there. I went to Aldi, the cheap grocery store, and spent $117 last week. Yeah. I could have gotten Chipotle seven days. Would It would have been less than that. I know. Austin and I about, keep talking about doing, we should just actually just do it. It's $120. I don't even think it's 120 I think it's maybe 100 maybe 110 I don't know. Whatever. And that's for like the deluxe. It's like the catering version. And they give you so much food. And then you can just make your bowls at home. I mean, and you don't even have to do bowls. Like, that's so many different ingredients. Yeah. And $120, like, that's like, bro. 10 meals right yeah. there that you just have to basically just heat up you don't have to like cook and clean and waste your freaking time and hopefully it's like not bad for you exactly and i i've had such a at home granola girl weekend <laughs> i i did go out friday but yesterday i did absolutely nothing and then today i've done literally nothing to the point where i've been rad yesterday and today saturday and sunday crazy mm -hmm. who is she aka i've also been making all of my food and it's been so depressing seeing other people's instagram stories of their food and i'm just like dang that looks really good and here i have like an air fryer chicken breast that i'm putting <laughs> polynesian sauce from chick-fil-a on it i'm like man i do really want to go out and buy some food why like, did you stand why did i i don't yesterday i don't know what it was i had all these different plan options and just none of them sounded fun i don't know what it was everything i was like i just don't feel like doing this and i stayed up really late friday we went to bed at like 5 30 <laughs> so i was moving slow in the morning to begin with and like i worked out and then my sister called me because her birthday was on um, this past Friday the 19th and so I just didn't do anything and then all of a sudden it was like 8 p.m and I was still at home and I was like all right this is your chance you either got to go out now or like you're in for the evening and I was like nothing anyone's doing is really yeah. interesting to me and then today I got up and we're gonna start pickleballing on Sundays so that's gonna be fun but low-key I kind of thought we'd be like pickleball then brunch and then everyone's like all right that was fun bye and I was like this is I like a pickleball league or something or no it was just like a group of friends oh. I was like okay kind of thought we were gonna hang lunch after yeah. this like granted we were all so sweaty but like treehouse is right there we can go into treehouse sweaty so I was just yeah. like damn okay guess I'm going home and making food lame and so that's just kind of what happened and I the Sunday fun day crew's a little like all over the place right now so I like, I was like, I guess I'm just at home today. Like, Honestly, whatever. I think your body needed that. I think so too. We did have a lot of fun on Friday. I went and got dinner with Madison and then we went to the Ivy really quick and met up with Seth and yeah, that was random. And then ran into this other guy that I know and met them and then everyone was going to 30. And so then we were like, yeah, we're going to 32. All of these like other random groups of friends of mine were at 30 and I felt like the queen of 30. And it was one of those nights where the bar wasn't that crowded, which was amazing 
amazing because 30 gets so damn hot inside it's that so I'm just hot. like sweating the whole time and you can't move and I'm just like this is miserable but since it wasn't all that crowded I could walk and talk to anyone I wanted to and we just I had I swear I knew over 25 people in the bar and I was like nice. this is amazing like I'm queen 30 right now but yeah and then we went to a post game afterwards at our friend Alex's, which was a ton of fun. He lives alone in like a one bedroom. So in the middle of his apartment, he has one of those like putting greens where it's just like yeah. a straight line. So then we start playing a game on there and we're like kicking that. And then we're like, we need to do something a little bit more. So then we're like, let's play pickleball and like try and like just hit the ball in the air back and forth. But of course he only has one damn paddle. So what are we using? A book. <laughs> So there's one person with a book. There's another person with the paddle. We're all hit it. I have videos of it. It was so much fun. And then all of a sudden it was like 4.30 in the morning, 5. And we were like, all right, we should actually probably get going. Yeah. We left and went home. And yeah, that was a 5.30 a.m. bedtime. But the rest of the weekend, I did absolutely nothing. And I was rad. And that makes up for all of the money I spent last week on Amazon Prime Day and the boots I'm about to buy. So balance, baby. Dude, one thing I was thinking yesterday, because I didn't end up spending a lot of money, but I was going to go buy a drink at this one bar and Austin's like, oh, what do you want? And I looked and it was like a glass of wine was like $16 and then a bottle was like 22 So I was like, let me get a bottle. But then I, oh, thought, other people, I thought other people were going to share with me. <laughs> that was hey, just me and my bottle of wine. It was still cheaper than if you got two glasses of wine. Exactly. And But then it's just me like dancing around with my bottle of wine. <laughs> It reminds me of Skinny Girl Retreat 1. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when we went to all the wineries. And I remember some people were like splitting bottles and stuff. And I was like, now nah, one for me. <laughs> that is what I need. I need my own. I'm not sharing yeah. with anyone. Then died. Oh my God. Yeah, no, yesterday was a lot of fun though. Kind of get to see everybody. One of my guy friends came and said bye to me. I was sitting with my friend Lauren, LB Lauren, and my friend Carly. He like came up and said bye. But it was like 45 seconds too long. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it to the point where like my friends both looked at each other and then he like started like touching and then he like walked away and they were both like I think he wanted to make out like, <laughs> <it's>, like weird <laughs> you're like um, I'm not interested <laughs> like it was just like such an odd such, like yeah I can't remember like what he even said because I remember I was like this is like a little long <laughs> like, <laughs> and it wasn't anything like sentimental it was more just like I don't even know how to explain it it was like hey I'm gonna miss you like, but then it was like I'm really gonna miss you I was like okay yeah okay. I was like <laughs> I'm like, nice. I mean, I would miss me too. I'm like, first of all, duh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god and then this week i put it on our podcast story i ran out of gas i can't i've never like i don't how do you do i mean so when your car gets like zero does your car have like a thing that tells you how many miles will empty no oh so my first car didn't but it had like the trip like you know like when you fill up gas and you can reset your thing and so you know how many miles you've used on that tank yeah and so i've always done that and i've always known like around what my mileage is for my entire tank and then my second car the one i sold in march it had the counter that told me like how many miles i had and everything and then it, but i still would set like the gas tank so i always knew that this car i'm sure it does i have not figured out how to set like how much mileage the gas tank has like i have my whole mileage for my entire car's life but right. i don't have the like each trip and i probably really need to google it and figure it out but it doesn't have that and then i guess i got like low gas whatever empty what notification on saturday and then i realized it's sunday and i was like shit okay and then i should have done it sunday but i just didn't want to we were having our sunday fun day and then i ended up driving people from bar one to bar two or else i probably would have stopped in between the two bars and gotten gas but since i was driving people i didn't want them to like have to stop and wait for me to get gas and be like la 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 so i just didn't and then monday i wanted to be rad so i drove to and from work and works literally six miles away so it's not anything crazy on tuesday i drove to work and then on my way home but i was going straight to a gas station like i had in my maps like going to the gas station because i was going to go get gas and then i was going to go on a run i was literally downtown where my office is and i'm sitting at the light that like goes straight into like the highway like 
basically it's a light and then if you go straight and you like lean left they're going on to like 75 85 north or if you lean right you're going 75 85 south i'm at this light and all of a sudden the light like turns green and my ac stops and then i go to press gas and my car doesn't move that's wild. and i was like oh my god oh my god so i immediately put on my hazards and i feel so bad there's this girl in her bronco right behind me and like i like can't go fast luckily it's like a downward slope onto the highway and like since those lanes like why i can go in the middle of them yeah so i kind of literally like roll down there because that was like my best option because i didn't want to take a right at that light because then it was uphill and i would have just been stuck in the lane yeah and like but little old me about to get out and push the car no so i like just roll down and i stop i put my hazards on and i'm like oh my god this is just so funny like only i would manage to do this and i've always said it's kind of crazy that i've never run out of gas before because i love to be like if there's two more miles <laughs> i'm a six uh, and i'm like i should get gas <laughs> yeah no like, all the time all i mean it'll literally be like get gas now zero miles and i'm like it can go a little bit further no worries this one doesn't have a counter though so who the hell knows how many miles I drove in the little empty fuel area. And then I was like, okay, I can call a friend, but like, what, then I'm going to have to leave my car here. Or like, are they going to pull up behind me? So I was like, how long is AAA away? And it said like 40 minutes. And I knew I had to edit the podcast. My phone was charged. So I knew I could hotspot. I was like, oh, I'll just call AAA. I won't annoy any of my friends, whatever. Of course, since it's rush hour, it just keeps getting backed up, backed up, backed up. So it took them two hours to get to me. But it honestly wasn't that bad because I just, I had the roof open on the convertible. So like, it's not like I was sitting in a car sweating my ass off. Yeah. And yeah, it was hot. But since I was in the middle of our major highways, there were so many cars moving by. I had a breeze the entire time. Did you get a tan? No, I didn't get to, it was cloudy. Good thing it wasn't raining either. I did meet a homeless guy. He came up. Um, he had this like big ass sign box thing. And it was, I wish I, I meant to take a photo of it, but it said something like, hey girl, you look so good passing gas when you go by me or something like that. Like a play on words. Uh, and I was like, it's even funnier since I have no gas. So, <laughs> ha ha. And we talked for a while. And he was like, girl, I have to tell you. I know I probably shouldn't say this, but even sitting down, I can tell. Black men probably can't leave you alone. <laughs> <laughs> And I was like, it's funny that you say that because actually this past weekend, a black guy I met at a bar told me that I, a white boy can't handle me. And I told him that no boys can. And he thought that was so funny. Uh, and then we talked for a little bit. He had a cash app at the bottom and he was like, at the end, like kind of like, yeah, you can cash at me. And I said, dude, I don't Yes, you think I have money to cash app you? And he was like, we need to call your boss and get you more pay. And I was like, you're right, we do. And then he was like, I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to let you go because I just get him real close to me getting hit by a car over here. And I was like, yeah, no worries. It's so nice to meet you. And he was like, all right, bye, white girl with a black girl's body. <laughs> and I was like, honestly, what is my life? <laughs> Oh my god. Well, I was gonna say, have you seen those homeless people now who have like the credit card scanners? No. <laughs> yeah. Like the you know how like I feel like what like a square. Have? Yeah, a square. They have them and they're like, <laughs> I'm like, dude, in this economy, I'm also homeless. Like, <laughs> yeah, I literally it makes no sense to me. Like, how do you have a cash app? So you and honestly, he was dressed really well. Granted, his outfit didn't match, like he was in this little fedora, but he was in like a nice suit jacket and then like a button up like collared shirt I don't I think he was in shorts but it makes sense because it's hot as balls outside but I was just like I'm a little confused and so like does this mean you have a phone because like how else are you getting your cash app money that means you're charging the phone somewhere and sometimes I'm like could I stand on the side of the road remember they did it on like Oprah or the Ellen show or something back in the day where one someone dressed up as a homeless person I want to say in like New York City and like saw how much money they made and they made like bank there was actually coincidentally we were talking about this the other day I can't remember who I was talking to and they were like yeah this this was a few years ago 30 years ago maybe somebody was homeless on New York City and being homeless in New York City you make eighty thousand dollars in like people giving you change I was like yeah. that's a whole ass salary like that's a good salary 
that's literally more money than I make. Yeah, and you're just like chilling me at home. You don't have bills. Yeah, I mean, yeah, exactly. So granted, I have a place to live and stuff. Right. I'm not trying to be homeless. <laughs> I'm glad I can shower. Right. But yeah, I was just like, this is really interesting. I also saw this one girl. So there's not like that many homeless people in uptown Charlotte. But there was this girl, and I think she was homeless. She was laying on the bench in a blanket. This is like eight o'clock at night on like a Wednesday. So I'm like, you're laying on a bench. I presume you're homeless with a blanket. She's FaceTiming her friend. My first thought is like, if any of my friends were needing to sleep on the bench, like just come sleep on my couch. If or like heck, if if you want, you can sleep on my floor. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not yeah. gonna let any of my friends be homeless. So I was just kind of like, what? And even if it was a friend that like lived in a different state, I'll be like, I'll buy you a plane ticket. You can stay here, get it to, like until you yeah. know, get back on your feet. I was just like, this is very odd, and I almost wanted to be like, hello, <laughs> because I was just like, that's interesting. <laughs> How are you doing this? I saw a TikTok earlier today. Speaking of all these homeless people, and it was this girl, and she was like, if you ever want to be humbled or something. One time, I saw this guy that like had a beard and was like wearing some like cute little like raggedy T-shirt and stuff, and and I started hitting on him because I thought he was like this cute little hipster guy and he turned me down and it turns out he was also homeless <laughs> <laughs> and I was like oh god something that would happen to me <laughs> that sucks actually this is weird too I live like kind of near a bridge I saw him this was like two or three years ago there's a homeless guy under there on his macbook <laughs> do you maybe he stole it that's bad to say maybe like, well okay but I also don't even 100% know if he was homeless because he's wearing a button-up so he was obviously like in the process of looking for a job is my thought. Maybe he's like updating his resume. But I I, I was also like, well, maybe go to the bench. Yeah. Bench instead of like under the bridge on like the top part of under the bridge. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Like why was he doing that? Like parkour stuff? There's a bench right next to it. <laughs> seven feet away. You know, I was just figuring that. It's going to be more peaceful up here. I'm just going to climb. <laughs> right. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, you do. I don't care. I'm like, you do you. Hi, homeless guy. It was one that used to sleep under our building, like kind of near under our building for a long time. And then I was watching my friend's dog and I didn't see him because there's like a little bush. But the dog like pulled and then ended up pooping. And then the guy like stood up. He's like, um, I'm sleeping here. And I was like, I'm really sorry. But also I can't really control where a dog you're, poops. You're also sleeping on a sidewalk. <laughs> Not even on a sidewalk, sleeping on the grass <laughs> behind a bush. <laughs> you're like, sorry, dude. <laughs> I don't know how to help you out here. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I'm, I'm sorry. And I like picked it up. So I'm like, thanks. <laughs> sorry, my dog is shitting in your room. I'm like, you know what? This isn't even my dog. I'm just dog watching. So, <laughs> oh my gosh. You know the one influencer, Krista Horton? Yeah. That we follow, that we enter in her like $500 a day every day and we've never won anything. Never. Yeah. That one. <laughs> oh, also, oh, did you watch her stories of Bora Bora? No. Oh, yeah, true. You were so busy this week. I wonder if she has that as a highlight. So gorgeous. Probably one of the top places I want to go to at some point. It was. Yeah, so I really want to go to Bora Bora. We stayed on one of those huts that you yeah. do gorgeous the sunsets the wall everything about it they had issues getting back because of the flights and stuff but they finally got back and so they're back with the kids and they're on another trip with the kids somewhere I don't really know but she put on her story today and it's a photo of Bryce talking to boss or not boss to camp their youngest kid and it says Bryce is telling camp that he can't say hey want to see a weapon and then try and whip out his wiener <laughs> I guess that's like because he's like only what three, so I it's guess that's just like, like newest thing that he's doing. That is so funny. I was like, this is why I love kids. Like my coworker just got back from meeting her niece, who's like four months old, and she like keeps showing me photos. And I was like, I just don't like kids like that. And she's like, kind of got a little offended. And I was like, not like like what she looks like, like not like that, but like that can't lift their heads and she's like no she can lift her head and i'm like yeah she's talking about that months, age and she's four months old like i just don't i like when they can like say words and she was like oh and i was like no like i think i love like preschool and elementary kids i don't even know if i like yeah i think i like fourth graders i mean obviously some of them are little shitheads but i love when they have a personality and they'll like just say things to you and because they have no filter and they're yeah. just gonna say words and you're just like 
I know your mom tells you this, or like, I know your dad said this once and now you're just regurgitating it. And it's yeah. the funniest thing ever. I don't like kids, so I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> you, yeah, you don't like them at any age, really. Except you do like your one friend's kid. Yeah, I do like her. She just turned what she had just learned how to walk last week, took her first steps. Oh, yeah, does she do say words like yet? Um, a little bit. So their nanny is Russian. So she knows like six Russian words. <laughs> Cause like the nanny doesn't speak English very well. We went out to dinner with them on Friday. The, I met the nanny. She like does not speak very well English like at all. <laughs> but the bond with the nanny and the baby is actually really adorable. Like you can tell that the nanny like really loves the baby. Do you think as a parent you get jealous of that? No, so I asked her, I was like, their bond is really nice. Like, it was great to see because you, then you know your baby's in a safe Yeah. Environment. And she's like, yeah, she was like, sometimes we'd say that she's number one. And she's like, we don't like get like jealous or anything because like obviously we want somebody to love. We want everybody to love our kid the way we love her. And then and knowing that somebody is taking good care of your child because, I mean, if you take them a daycare sometime, like you see weird stories and some of those kids are not getting treated well. Well, even so, you take them to the daycare and like, yeah, the daycare people might be awesome, but you don't know about those other kids. Right. Today, when we were at Pickleball, we were playing on like the tennis courts and there was this little, little, little boy and his dad like practicing tennis on a wall. Yeah, I used to coach tennis and they were like, wait, what? Like you play tennis? And I was like, oh no, like didn't play tennis. So I just like coached it. I was like, yeah, same with gymnastics. Even then, like, I was elementary schoolers, and you could totally tell present parents are between the kids. One of my best players, again, it was all elementary schoolers, so like kindergarten through fifth grade. One of my best players was like this first grade little boy, and every day for like lunchtime, his parents had packed him like cut up strawberries and grapes and like made a little sandwich or cheese or whatever. And then I had this other boy who was honestly a shithead. And the entire time he would just complain about playing tennis. And all he wanted to do was go back home and play his video games. And he just wanted to go to grandma's, play with the rusty guns on the video game. Or and like, he was so descriptive on like the types of guns and the video game. I was like, you should not be knowing this as a fourth grader. This no, is like, And we played outside in the heat of Orlando summer and his parents grandparents whoever well his lunch would be like a coke and a bag of Doritos or Oreos or something this is insane but like it's just all parenting and it's yeah. so sad it to sad. see like the differences and right there like those kids in the after school I guess it's like school and stuff but, but when they're so little like your friend's baby who just turned one like you don't know how present any parents are with said child ever yeah. and so yeah the daycare people and whatever might be like amazing but the parents might not be and so the kid might kind of be a piece of shit yeah and it's actually sad because you know the kid the basically the parents like the reason that kid plays so much video games is because the parents don't want to like entertain them or keep them busy so they're like yeah. here play video games and leave me alone yeah here's your here's the ipad the other day we did, or this was a few weeks ago now, we did like yoga on the square on Wednesdays. They do it and it's free. So we went and did it. And there's a pretty nice restaurant right next to like the grass square area. And I was on the very edge and it's like an Italian place. And this little boy was sitting there and the entire time, like he had his like big old headphones on and his iPad as like the parents ate. And like uh, he was eating some too, because he was fourth or fifth grade, like old enough to like know what's going on it's so wild to me to watch that like they're out at a nice nice dinner and here this kid is just sitting on this ipad and he's eating a nicer dinner than like what i'm going to eat i get it to an extent same because they're like i just need like a, i just want to be able to eat and not have to deal with a screaming child and also i don't want everybody else to have to deal with my screaming child if i'm at a rest but yoga. also like teach your kid have no, conversations I, with right. your kid. Why are they watching Bluey or whatever that show is that they're all watching now? Kids are smart. Talk to them and they'll know what's going on. I feel like it's got to be bad for their eyes. But get them, give them one of those like little books. Like we all had, you know, those like thick cardboard books with like, and then you put your little finger in them sometimes. Or, like a <laughs> puppet. 
I don't know. I feel like there's other things to do than I just didn't like grow up with video games and stuff like that. I mean, we never had hours that we could or couldn't play. I don't love that just because I feel like that like creates it. Like I understand making it a reward, but then it makes it something that they like want to work towards and like, oh my God, this is the one hour that I'm allowed to play video games. So like I have to play them right now. Like we didn't have time restraints on it. Like yeah. we but we also would play outside. Like we've had a we'd have a full weekend where we played capture the flag and outside or on the creek or whatever all weekends. And then we'd have another weekend where we'd play like Mario Kart and Mario Party pretty much all weekend. We also, it was also the day and age of We Fit. And so we did a lot of We Fit. Yeah, I, we was the only thing that we had, but we always had to ask our parents, like even if it was to watch TV, like we never, we didn't have TVs in our room. I didn't have a TV in my room until I went to college. Yeah, we didn't either, but we had like the bonus room, which was like where our like kids TV was. Yeah, no, we all just had a family TV. It's also so weird to think that, like, we all had, like, computer rooms. We didn't. Really? Like, we had, like, it was part of our bonus room, but, like, that's where our, like, two computers were. We did it in our Oviedo house when I was, like, a younger kid when they had dial-up. Then <laughs> <laughs> then we had, like, a computer room, and I had, like, I would play the Little Mermaid computer game. Yeah, we had so many like, games. Like, and I was allowed to print it. <laughs> I remember we had one game that like you would like plug in this like steering wheel and everything into oh, the I went like that. Oh, but yeah, I know what you're like talking about. I was like, yeah. Yeah. I know what you're talking about. Which is just like crazy to think about. Like, I don't think that would ever exist these days. Dude, even with the Wii, I had like the steering wheel thing. You put the Wii remote in it and yeah. you would just like, steer. <laughs> Which was just like oh an extra you know thing to purchase. No one actually needed it. <laughs> Dude, now that I'm moving, like the Wii's been at my parent, my apartment, and now I'm like, I wonder what Wii Fit would say about me now. They'd be like, <laughs> scale overload, <laughs> <laughs> or it's just so broken and so out of whack. It's like you're three pounds. <laughs> I'd be like, thank you, Wii. I'm only using <laughs> you going forward. <laughs> it's like the memes now. Right now, that's like try and find my waist on the speck of dust <laughs> yeah also the summer olympics are like right around the corner i think they literally start like this week they haven't already started yeah i know they've like i think like prelim stuff has been starting yeah and, and i've seen i saw one because you know how they do like a like the ceremony to light the torch sure. yeah. they're all dressed very um culturally appropriate is that the right word I guess, I guess for their country, yeah. Yeah, like culture, yeah, for their country. It's like Somali or something. They're like super cool, super nice. So they've outfit. already done this, that ceremony? I don't know because they just popped up on my Instagram. They're like Somalia or whatever country it was. Uh, actually, it wasn't Somalia. It started with an M, Mongolia. <laughs> um, they're like, was best outfits. But I was like, I didn't realize this had already happened. But then that was the only one I saw because I feel like I'd see other outfits because people would be like, no, I preferred china's outfit and then you know like but i only saw the mongolian one that was before the soccer national game i wonder if that was like for a certain team that was like playing basketball or something the entire country in the ceremony because i don't think that's happened yet dude wait <laughs> tiktok the para Olymp paralympics has their own tiktok page where they're basically making fun they're like just showing videos of like people playing basketball in wheelchairs and like constantly falling over. But it's like the official page. <laughs> and they were like, why are you posting this? And they're like, we're posting this because it is funny. <laughs> yeah, it kind of is. You make me feel like an asshole laughing at it. I but mean, they came out and said they're like, hey, these we know these videos are funny. Like, laugh. Yeah, that's just on marketing. And I guess like them being good at their job. It's just like my neighbor Carl that just posted on Facebook and it was like they really need to get their marketing together and it was seasoning and it was like cock seasoning or something. Chicken seasoning, yeah. <laughs> and it, uh, but, yeah, no, the Paralympic or Special Olympics, their uh offices in my former apartment complex. Are you serious? Yeah. Like the main office? I don't know if it's the main office, it's a it's a office and office. Interesting. How random and it, it's it's so random. I'm like, what? <laughs> Sign me up. <laughs> They're like, yeah, you do. Yeah, I seen you. I already signed you up. <laughs> yeah, I almost got hit by a train. <laughs> yeah. 
So I recently joined that like Instagram page. I know it originally started in Atlanta, but I think like major cities have them now, or it's not an Instagram page. It's a Facebook page. R R I P. And it's like, are we dating the same guy? You've heard of this, right? Room. Are you in the Charlotte <laughs> one? Yeah, this part fun. Then they kicked me out because they thought I ratted. I don't know why. What they did think you me. ratted? I don't know. There's like thousands of people in there and they kicked me out. Weird. Yeah. Ours has like 48,000 people in it, or at least the one I'm in. And, but there's like multiple of them because my friend is in another one and hers is like 13,000 people in it. Whatever. I'm in this group. I recently joined it because I wanted to see if anyone had ever posted anything about pee. You can't really search the group because a lot of people will comment and just be like, they won't say the person's name. How am I supposed to search if I'm having issues with someone? I feel like they when... usually just post the picture of the person. Ours, yeah, like, ours they'll is do... like, they'll show screenshot like his, the guy's like profile picture or something. Yeah, they'll do that, but they'll usually write like his, some of them will write like his name or something. Yeah. Be like, anyone have any tea on this guy or anything? Whatever. Unfortunately, there was nothing about P in there. Um, because I was really hoping for that. But 95% of these guys, honey, that guy is, there's no way he's talking to more girls. He's not <laughs> you. These girls are posting some ugly, <laughs> ugly men. And I'm like, this this is what you're concerned about because we can reel it in if you're yeah, worried right. about this guy. I feel like the Charlotte ones weren't really like that. The Charlotte ones were more like, hey, went on five dates with this guy and turns out he's married like that's the more charlotte stuff i feel like there weren't a lot of like is my boyfriend on other dating sites <laughs> do you guys see this guy there was a guy that i did um hook up with a few long time ago apparently he gets posted in there a lot my friend my ex-friend name rhymes with bane bros i don't get up you, you know who i'm talking about no. I mean, that's, I, I can't really be any more. Name rhymes with what? Bane. Last name, Bross. B-R-O-S-S? Yes. I don't. It rhymes with that. Rhymes. It's not. <laughs> it's why I can't name. Do this. I, I, I can't be any more accurate than that. Can you text it to me? Why am I so dumb? <laughs> <laughs> like, Bob Ross? I just texted you. Oh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fucking idiot. <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> that, was, that was very obvious. Um, I don't know why I was, for some reason, I was thinking about people in high school. Oh, no, no. A friend of mine in Atlanta, well, he's no longer really my friend, but we were really close at one point. He's been on it a few times. He, the first time I saw was like in December and I wasn't even in the group then. One of my friends saw it and then like screenshot it and sent it to me. Yeah. And then he was just on it like a week or two ago. It was not even up for an hour and it already had like over 20 comments of like other people that were like, yep, I knew this guy. I know this guy. Yep, yep, yep. Like and stuff. And then the post ended up getting deleted. I don't really know if she put out too much info or what. There's so many damn rules in that group. I'm like, this is hard to keep up with what I can and can't say. What are the comments? One girl was like, yeah, I went to high school with him. And honestly, it sounds like he's not changed. Because she posted their conversation that they had via, I want to say Hinge or something. And basically, he his first message to her was like, that'll do. And she was like, oh, what? And he was like, do you want to hit the two-step with me and my friend? And and he said that at like 8.30 in the morning on like a Wednesday. This is like over 4th of July, so like really recent. And she was like, oh, what does that mean? And he was like, a threesome, LOL. And she no. was like, ah, you've got jokes. Yeah, like what? Like, yeah, uh, absolutely absurd. Um, okay, but I want to know, like, the thing is, it's like there are so many men – that like message stuff like this and it's like what are you thinking well so i'm really good friends with one of his good friends i was like telling him and he was like god not him on there again and i was like when are you guys gonna get like a little bit of control like and i know like you guys are his friends but like this is like it's ridiculous i like his friend was like i hate it but there's truly nothing that we can like really do about it 
every single one of us has had deep conversations with him about all of it and nothing has changed compulsive lying and stuff or yeah and like just the way he talks to women and everything is like always insane his friend was like all i like can kind of tell people at this point is is like i know if we turn our back on him as like his friends and his support system things would only be worse like he would just treat people even worse as his friends they all do like love and care about him and i think they would like worry about yeah like what he would uh, i don't know if it's what he would do to himself or like how then he would just constantly need that like approval of a woman but yeah it was he said that and then i was like i just like don't understand like the things he says to girls mind blowing and i don't understand like does it work because like we're getting close to the age of 30 and it's insane that you're saying these things and i want to be like we're not in college anymore that would have been fucking weird to say to someone in college where to say somebody in high school like that, that like that's just weird to even have the audacity to say in general and his friend was like honestly i've seen enough of his approach that it's either pure volume shooting or he makes people feel super super comfortable and then he makes an outlandish sex ask and i was like yeah that adds up that totally makes sense it's ew, it's so douchey it's just gross it is it's disgusting and it's like we're almost 30 get it together he ha he has so many brothers and like i want to say two of them are married already and it's just like can you not see like happy relationships and like understand his parents are still together like and he's also just one of those people that like is totally like i believe in therapy but like i don't need it that's when if you believe in it then and then you need it <laughs> the thing is is i think everybody needs therapy just because like you're going to therapy doesn't necessarily mean that you're like even struggling sometimes it's just for clarity it's it's a very sad i thing. think it's uh if he does he have any sisters no i've kind of noticed men that are raised with all sisters are always a lot nicer than men who um aren't like, like my brother like, yeah like your brother's nice and he has two sisters like men with sisters are always nicer men with who only have brothers they don't know how to talk to women it's it's weird because it's like like they it's not even that they don't know how to talk to women it's just like full-on like objectify women like well you and i think it's like this like thing is you self-concept of like masculinity that's what i'm saying like it's so yeah they're like I'm it's the like, man. just like a sexual thing to them yeah and it just becomes very predatorial <laughs> yeah it's weird it's just gross but all right. Well, we're up on an hour and so <laughs> we will talk to y'all next week. My reel's at 1.5 mil views now. So next week we might be at 2 mil and we might be full on famous. Bye y'all. Bye.